How to Disconnect an Agent from Jenkins. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.401.3. Attached to this controller, I have a Linux-based agent. So if we click on Build Executor Status, that will take us to the nodes and clouds listing for this controller. We can see our built-in node, which is the controller itself, and we also see Agent 1. Now, this is the agent that we want to go ahead and disconnect from the controller. How do we do that? Well, since this agent is connected via SSH, we'll go ahead and click in and click into Disconnect. Do we want to go ahead and disconnect the computer Agent 1? Yes, we can give it an explanation if we want to see why it is. So we'll say, uh, Offline for maintenance and click yes. Now we'll see that it was disconnected by the admin and offline for maintenance. If we click on the nodes link in the breadcrumb, we'll see a red X through the computer of the agent. We can also see that we are offline on the left nav. Now that I've refreshed this page, you may notice that the agent came back online. That's because I have everything set up to where if it disconnects, it will automatically reconnect. So what do I need to do if I want to go ahead and disconnect and make sure that that agent does not get reconnected? Well, let's go back into agent one. I'm going to click on disconnect. Again, I'm just gonna type in offline and click yes, but I'm also going to click mark this node temporarily offline. And I'm gonna say offline here as well. Now what we'll see, we'll see that we're still disconnected by admin, but if we go back over to the nodes in the breadcrumb, what we'll see is the agent is offline, but notice it's not a red X, this time it is a yellow X. And we could sit here and refresh this for hours on hours, and this agent would not come back online because we have marked it temporarily offline. So we disconnected and we marked it offline. So at this point, this agent will not come back online until we go back to the agent and click on bring this node back online. And at that point, we have the option to launch the agent. At that point, the agent will launch back up. If we click on nodes, we'll now see that the agent is fully back online. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.